I've been suffering getting achievements in Solaris. It didn't go entirely well for me in the last episode, but we're going to change that with this entirely random and cursed empire. It's actually not so random as we can get multiple achievements with this empire. My aim is to get past the 100 achievement threshold in this video. I hope we can do it. Let's find out if we can. So here is my completely cursed empire that has no synergies, but we will synergize with the achievement list. I'll be walking through which ones I'm going through as I play. I have a list of bunch that we can do. Hopefully we get to do them. We got a lot of material stuff, a few xenophobe stuff, dragons, and maybe megacorp stuff if we can get that going. We'll be playing on the standard-ish settings that we've been playing. This time I'm not going to be a complete idiot and just sit there and not do anything with all my allies. And we will have Iron Man mode on because you need Iron Man mode on. There's our dragon. We are protected. The start, we're just going to build up. Everything we need to do is quite mid game slash late game. Oh, so we're just going to try and scale as quickly as possible so we can do everything that we need to do. And it's more than likely I've messed something up, but it's fine. As long as we get a few, we are at 96 of 174. It has slowed down a bunch. I'm hoping we can get above 100 at the very least. Should be doable. Synthetics is something we're going to go down. We're going to go prosperity first. Prosperity is love. Prosperity is life. We're also mega called a xenophobe which i've never done before i don't know how this is gonna work this is this is cursed i, I it's fine <laughs> oh we found a fallen empire that's fanatic materialist which we are i'm hoping they give us a gift please that's an achievement we need old friends please go masterful crafters because it's just so good for building up and then brand loyalty just so we can get our unity going early on we could change these because we could go for a max mercenary sort of build we have zero capacity at the minute but if we get three of them and fully max them that's an achievement right he's finished tech is under seat we want the techs and because we're lithoid we do get lithoid monoliths i don't know why i struggled to say that word 1000 minerals for a pop it's quite a lot but it's going to be quite useful for us to get the scaling going early on. I mean, we're already competing against ourselves. The AI is not Grand Admiral, so we should be fine. But as we know in the last video, spoilers, I still suck. We're just going to get supremacy next as we are going to have to do some murdering. Oh, we found our first potential victim or friend. So you might be wondering why I'm going xenophobe in the first place. Well, there's a few achievements we need. This one is as a lithoid empire, keep another lithoid pop as livestock or process them. Then there is have five different species as livestock in our empire and also we've combined it with um corporate to have a branch office in five different empires capitals so my plan is to take their planets but not their capital and then put the branch office in the capital we make them a vassal we take their pops we make them livestock we'll also need it for some later game stuff but that's very far in the future shoot they've got a star base there okay we're getting robot techs this is good so we're going to need over 200 pops but as we're going to be materialist we'll need to have at least 75 percent of them be robotic but we can combine that with evolve into perfect or more machines but we'll just make everyone machines so we can just go kill make stuff livestock take pops you can see why i've done this weird mash of things that aren't synergistic at all and then here be dragons we need to own 13 dragons which there's going to be tips that you can do to get the 13 as you can't just do here be dragons and have all 10 strategic resources if this helps with living metal so i believe we'll get living metal i hope we do from what i've read we do when doing this achievement series i briefly look at what i need and maybe a few tips on things i can do to get get them but sometimes it doesn't work or well, sometimes i'm an idiot and i do it wrong both are very similar outcomes and it's usually because i'm an idiot wow we've already got droids okay you just need unity there's the living metal with the dragon i have no idea how to make the dragon like us and then eventually get their dragon babies so we're just gonna be nice to it let's set the space aside the dragon we do get unity stability and we do have a food upkeep but we built hydro base so that is fine. We were prepared. Okay, we have found these people. I'm just going to spy on them so I know how strong they are. Because we should just try and make them a subject straight away and then take one planet from them. So we get their pops and we can make them livestock. I'm not evil, you are. Okay, it's time for military buildup. By the time this fires, we should be in a good place of alloys our tech to subjugate our neighbor here. And hopefully they've settled on the planets near them. Supremacy done. So we need synthetic evolution but we need two other essential picks so this can be whatever we want i think universal transactions is going to probably be the most helpful branch office cars and stuff like 
that. One vision is also good. But because our third Decedra pick is going to be synthetic, we'll go universal transactions. We will be doing trade. We'll be good for our economy. We just need to kill someone first, vassalize them, then do branch office shenanigans. There's a plan to my madness. I don't think Mercantile is a good choice for us. We're not actually going trade. We're just using Megacorp stuff. Could diplomacy be good for that? More envoys. More envoys. Unity from embassies. More trust growth. Diplomatic assembly. I actually think diplomacy is the play. We could even use diplomacy to peacefully vassal, even though we want their planet, so maybe not. Oh, the people we want to kill are preparing wars stuff against us. That's not very nice. They're overwhelming, but I've not built a single ship and we've researched cruisers. <sighs> you fools. I have tier two disruptors, but no crystals. An advanced afterburners. Oh, yeah. I can literally only build one. I'll just claim all of their planet of that one. That will become the capital anyway. So then I can just put a branch office on their capital, which will be their only planet. Oh no, they're actually coming. I need Corvettes. I don't have enough alloys for cruisers. They have 1.9k. I already have 1k. They're imposing ideology. Oh, I don't want to conquer you. I want to subjugate you. They're equivalent. How long do I have to set a war goal? A year. Okay, well, we'll just try and build quick. They run away. Okay, be building. Yeah, I'm not going to get enough to be able to subjugate them, but that's fine. We will conquer them. Murder. They went all the way around there? Okay. They're running. Look at them run. Come back. You fools. You foolish fool. The star base is slowing us down. No. We got him. We got him. We got him. We should melt them. Yep. Even with Disruptor ones. So we're going to be less intrusive with the dragon. We want to be friends with the dragon. Oh, they've got 3.1k. Can we take them? I reckon we could take them. Yeah. Easy. Diplomacy's finished. We can go synthetic evolution. And then we will do that tradition. We should get an achievement. <laughs> now we're going to take out their fleet. And hopefully take their capital here. I think this is their capital. We'll leave them with one system. And then we'll just make friends with them. They're going to be so weak. Yep, we win. Now we have this species. We could make livestock. But we're not going to do it yet. We may as well use them for now. We just have a lot of things to fix. Oh, gosh. So we need to move our pops over to be leaders and enforcement. We should just spread over pops from these planets because they're just going to be very angry. Okay, we're going to improve relations with them now. We will be friends. Yeah, our neighbors, we can make a vassal, but we want to get a claim on one of their planets. So we get their pops, which we can make livestock. Oh, we need synthetic personality matrix technology it what even is that yeah we can't go that annoying we will just grab more envoys okay it's time to make vassal renowned paragon unity from job types alloys uh yeah we'll we'll yep 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 you will go on our capital oh my gosh just give me some fetics please we've taken all the planets except for this one okay yes yeah, synthetics i could have done it through the council but we were like quite the way down to expand the council okay now we can go synthetics are you see oh it's synthetic personality matrix is it even bigger tech than that oh the dragon thing it'll teach us when we are ready okay okay we can finally make them a vassal holy moly we also get their planet we have one two three we have three different species it's still not on there we also want to get a lithoid which would be there's a lithoid up here somewhere there's a lithoid over here they're in a federation now because they're a vassal we can go to their capital which is a planet with nothing on we'll establish a branch office one capital that we'll go get this guy's a vassal yeah we're gonna do synthetic evolution which will give us the tech in 74 months hopefully anyway this is so dumb i have all their planets but they won't surrender synthetic personality matrix yeah i can cancel this now i'm a bit concerned if i become a robot will i lose the ability to make things livestock. I don't think I do, but I'm very worried. Okay, we do have liver metals now too. We just need to draw and dark farm. Ah, oh, achievements, achievements, achievements. I'm fairly, fairly sure we can make livestock cells. So we're going to grab synthetics and we can actually just finish this off because we've just saved so much unity. We just finished synthetics instantly. We're not going to become the crisis yet. We are going to go to Federal of Galaxy for more opinion. Dragon. This is also a thing for the dragon. Everything's happening. Yes, we need to preserve it. How do we do that? Oh, yes. Pen dragons. Cool. We now have a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how do we make dragons? We need dragon hat trees. We need citadels. Oh, okay. So the plan is to make pen dragons. Give three of them to a vassal for 10 years because you can lease fleets. You look here, you can borrow fleets. The game will think I don't have all of the dragons so I can build three more. And then when they come back, I've got 13. Okay, we do want to become synthetic. That's an achievement. 
but it's very expensive. I'm worried that we're not going to be able to make livestock. I shouldn't be worried, but let's play it safe. We're going to take this empire, then the Lithoid empire, make Lithoid's livestock, make everyone else livestock, then make them all robots. Good plan. Okay, we can make these a vassal now. Nice, which means then on their capital, we can make a branch office. Where did all our minerals just go? What? Let's negotiate this contract. I need all of your resources, please. Put the dragon with our main fleet as well. Okay, now we just need citadels. I think the issue is I don't have a mineral world. That may have been a very poor play on my behalf. <laughs> there is no good mineral world though. Only our capital. Star Fortress. Okay, we have claims on a planet. Oh, we have to fight so many of them though. They're all in defensive packs. It's not like they're even vassals. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, okay, we got the dragon. 100k in fleet strength. Let's go fight them. Yeah, they're no match. Oh, <gasps> I think the scrappers, we could scrap one of the fledglings to get an achievement too. So we don't have to do it to bubbles, even though I really wanted to do it to bubbles because it would be funny. Citadels, cool. We'll get 13 of them first before we do that though. Okay, let's upgrade to Citadels. Oh, I didn't even do the Star Fortress one. I'm so stupid. They've literally taken every bit of their land, but because they're in massive defensive packs, we don't have enough war support and we can't get to them. What I'm going to do is war the Lithoids while we're here. We are in a big federation, but none of them border us. The border goal isn't going to be too bad. Oh, I didn't make claims. That could have been bad. I'm glad I had a lot of influence. Oh, they do have some fleets, to be fair. They're quite cute. They're also dead. I cannot believe I have not got one achievement yet. It's a slow play, but it'll be worth it. I mean, I could become Galactic Emperor soon. That'll be a good play. Oracle Renown Paragon. How have I got two? The Dell upgrade. Um, oh, this war... Well, these multiple wars are painful. I've literally killed the people that I want to take. It's just their allies. Like, there's so many systems and planets to date. Split up the dragon with an army and my main fleet with an army. But their planets are pretty strong. Minus 34, minus 36. So we're getting there. But we now can get egg. Oh, there's a fanatic purifier. Was there an achievement for fanatic purifier? Global pacifier, uh, the shield of planet belonging to fanatic purifier. We could do that as well. Oh, we can achieve war goals. In one of them, the other was zero acceptance. Okay. Okay, the rock. And now our subject. Give me your capital as branch office. Thank you. Yay, we did it. Another vassal. Give me your capital. Nice. Okay, now we need to kill our economy. Five different species as livestock, including a lithoid. Oh, we can do the subspecies too. You will become livestock one. You will become livestock two. You will become a third livestock. Fourth livestock. And fifth. So we've gone for all of the ones with the lowest population count because our economy might crash here. But this should, yes, double achievement. You've at least five different species of livestock in your empire and the Lithoid one. Can you smell what the Lithoids are cooking? I cannot believe how long that took. Okay, now let's do synthetic evolution. 128 months, casually. Also can now build dragons. We need lots of living metals for this. You only build three. Oh, freaking hell. Give me all your living metals. We want to build as many as we can. They take so long to... <laughs> and they need so many crystals. Yeah, we may as well try and do the Mega Corp one. We need one more branch office in a capital. Your commercial pact with you. And this is your capital. Um, Another achievement. As a corporate member, have branch offices on five capitals. Now, I have not really been paying attention to my empire. I've literally put things on auto. What we can start doing, I think, is try for free mercenary enclaves. How do we get more? I swear there's civics. What? No, we need to be militarist. All of them are militarist. Very annoying. I think, though, eventually we can get two for here um tension perk we can get plus one we're at plus one so we would just need to get that i think that's the only way we can get three of them so this might not be the run for that can i make them not livestock i have to wait for 10 years okay. okay i'm just gonna build an ancient refinery on every single damn planet so we can get way more rare crystals okay i need nanite i don't know if buying rowan dark matter gives us the resource for the achievement but if we get an l gate we're gonna go for this L gate here so we could try and get nanites. Whoa, where did all my minerals go? What the heck? What? <laughs> what the what? Don't get how we've just lost so many minerals here. What the hell? This, this needs to become a mineral world, I guess. We become minerals. Get rid of this. Get rid of factory worlds, create mineral worlds, and we can put mining subsidies on to try and help oh gosh in a plus we are starting to get our dragons dragon fleet 
Yeah, there's 30 livestock over here. Sorry. Okay, we've now got 10 dragons. So what we're going to do is put, we'll do five into a fleet. So I'm going to rename it so I know. This one, we've got five dragons there. We want to then give this fleet, this one, who our vassal. I swear, if they've patched this. Yes, we can build more. So we're just going to build more. And then we'll get our fleet back and we'll have 13 dragons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes. I'm just going to keep building more, but we should be good. Then we got synthetic evolution and then we've done pretty much what I had planned, which is incredible. Our minerals are almost fixed. Oh dear. I should probably build an orbital ring to buff up our mineral production on our capital since that's the only place we're making minerals. I don't know why the synthetic evolution is taking so long. I think it's our empire sprawl. Oh, I think our mineral production may have gone towards our rare resources when I spammed ancient refineries. <laughs> Why do we have that many? Okay, let's... Oh, no. Is this a gift? No. Oh, no. I thought it was a gift. We'll appease them because maybe they'll give us a gift. Okay, we're going to get our claim out of Vassal. So we have an Elgate. Hopefully we get Nanites. We can buy Dark Matter in Zero. That should be an achievement. We're one off a hundred. Please. I want to get this before the crisis spawns. And we've almost got Synthetic Evolution too. It's just taking forever. We can potentially get two achievements from that. Oh, own 13 dragons. We got our lease back. Oh, we didn't even get the lease back. We just built that many. Okay. But that is a hundred achievements now. 0.1% of people own that achievement. Very nice. Let's push on and see how many we can get before the crisis could spawn. And I do want to keep putting through resolutions here so we can get that second your enclave capacity. Whoa, involve into perfect mortal receipt. And I'm a materialist empire with at least 200 pops. Have at least 75% robotic. Ah, we are robots. I don't think we can shield because we're not spiritless. Maybe you can. I'm confused. Yeah, we need to also be the emperor. So let's like, nominate ourselves. I think I picked the wrong one. And if I'm neutron suit, I need a global pacifier. I think maybe I can research it. Also, this war is stalemated because there's someone else went to war with them and we can't have all their planets. It's not going. But we'll just spam Elgate. Research it. But that's going to be for the next episode where we'll go for late game achievements. We'll become the crisis and blow up the galaxy. That's two achievements because we'll get a victory by doing that too. We'll become the galactic empire which we put in place. We'll destroy the scourge. We'll try to get every resource. Patreon of three maximum size enclaves and try to get 10 distinct operations. We'll need to build that up in the next one. Now, enough about achievements. Have you ever wondered what would happen if World War II happened in space? Well, we can answer that because I simulated the major nations in Solaris in this video. Click here to watch it now.